Hey guys, thank you for taking the time to check out my channel. Welcome to another vlog. I wasn't going to make a vlog over here. I was actually going to go up the road and do a nature sound video over at this uh, beautiful outlook point, but um, there's been people at that point pretty much the entire day, so this is uh, my third time out here, so I'm going to give up on it. I'm going to do a little bit of hiking. I'm at the Lower Hickson trails at the uh in the hickson forest all right let's get moving i wasn't planning on doing this but uh you know what it's a pretty decent uh evening out it's like uh 70 degrees right now pretty nice weather and i can't say no to a hike so oh god the bugs are bad i can tell already <laughs> all right <laughs> well let's do it I think what I'm going to do, um, I think, actually, you know what? I'm going to head down maybe about a half hour into the trail. I got to get my camera onto this uh, tripod, though. I don't have my monopod. Bear with me for one second. Is this going to work? Yeah. Give me one sec here, guys. Oh, my God, the bugs are bad. I'm gonna head down for about a half hour. Oh my God, they are so bad. Oh, geez. There, that's better. I'm gonna head down for about a half hour um, if the bugs aren't too horrible and uh, get a nature sound video a little ways away from the road. The road is right here. As you can tell, cars going by. And my nature sound videos are usually 15 minutes. Um, it's going to be difficult because, wow, the bugs are so bad. Okay, I got to roll my sleeves down. I got a long sleeve shirt on. All right. The trail immediately breaks off into two different directions. Uh, over this way and over this way. This way looks like it's still a little bit closer to the road. So I'm going to head over this way. Oh my God. I don't wear bug spray. I really try uh, hard not to. I don't like it. Um, DEET kind of makes me feel a little sick. So um, whenever I go hiking and uh, the bugs are this bad, I just kind of deal with it. I try to wear clothing that is a little bit more appropriate. Right now I have a... Uh, shorts um and a long sleeve shirt on but if i would have known i was going to be hiking i probably would have wore pants yeah like i said i was gonna get that nature sound video at the top of the bluff it's a beautiful outlook point um and then i was gonna head off to the gym i'm still gonna go to the gym after this and i think i might actually do another video tonight wow three videos in one day that uh is pretty rare for me these days but uh we have a festival going on right now it's a couple days away from uh the fourth of july i think i might live stream the fireworks in my area possibly i don't know but i think i'm gonna oh my god those bugs are bad i think i'm gonna head down to the uh fest tonight and Get a little bit of footage. Oh, man. Yeah, getting the nature sound video back here is going to be difficult. I think what I'm going to have to do, because I'm, I'm going to make noise, and, you know, basically what my nature sound videos are, if you're not familiar with them, um, I got about maybe, I don't know, 10 of them on my channel or something like that. But uh, uh, what I do is I just record nature. Uh, it's a 15 minute video per, I think I might have some that are five minutes, but I've done them at uh, waterfalls in the middle of the forest, uh, all kinds of stuff. And they're pretty relaxing. I like doing those. 
but I'm definitely going to be making some noise when this video is being filmed. So what I'm going to have to do is set down my tripod, hit record, and then quietly walk a good 20 feet away so I can swat at these bugs. Man, oh God. Oh, jeez. I'm not really sure how long I'm going to stay at the, uh, the fest tonight. Really don't even want to go. But it'd be nice to get another video anyway. I've been trying to update my channel a lot more regularly lately, and I think I'm doing a pretty good job of it. Oh, Jesus. Actually, I think I ha I'm pretty sure I've been on this trail before. You know, the lower Hickson trails, I really don't come to that often. I might have been here maybe two or three times. All right. Yeah, man, I wish uh, uh, bug spray didn't make me feel sick. I definitely have some on right now. Ooh, wait a minute. There's a clearing up here, and I think I might be able to get a shot of the bluff from the clearing up here. I don't know. Oh, Jesus. I am getting eaten alive. <laughs> All for the sake of a video, huh? Well, and a hike. I like hiking. Man, I <laughs> can still hear the traffic up there. Okay. I think that this is going to be as good as it gets. Is that the golf course? Oh, man, I should have gone the other way. Definitely. Well, good God. It's not too late. I can turn around. Yeah, that's the golf course. Um... There's another parking lot. I know where I am now. Um, there's a, another parking lot not too far up that way. Um, this is not going to be a good spot for filming. So I'm going to have to turn back around. Oh, man. <laughs> if you guys have made it this far into the video, thank you for watching. Um... Probably not the most exciting video, I would imagine. I get surprised sometimes by what people are interested in. My viewers and whatnot. That would be a good shot right there. If I set up the tripod. Nice view of the path. Well, and then you hear a motorcycle. But I'm going to keep going a little bit. But yeah, I get surprised uh, sometimes by what people are interested in uh, watching. I had, uh, God, what was that video? I reviewed some kind of shampoo or something. And I didn't expect the video to get any views at all. And I think it's got something like, I don't know, I'm guessing maybe 10, 20,000 views. So, I always think that when making something, you know, especially a video like this, who wants to listen to me walk around, you know, watch me walk around a forest and listen to me talk while doing it, but you never know. <laughs> the most uh, random video sometimes becomes popular. You have no idea why. Actually, my most uh, popular video at the moment has uh, like half a million views. It's uh, how to make the cheesiest jailhouse burrito. If I would have known that that video was gonna get that many views, I probably would have done it a lot better. It's not a horrible video, but 
could have been done a lot better, especially if it's uh, going to get that kind of attention. Okay. I haven't been out hiking in a while. Feels good to get out. Makes me want to go camping. And I haven't been camping this year at all yet. Or fishing really for that matter. Been uh, kind of focused on getting things ready for my career, which I'm not even gonna talk about in this video. I feel like I talk about that enough in my vlogs. That would be another good shot. Too many vehicles though. Hmm. Well, we gotta be close to the uh, part that uh, divided off here pretty soon. Oh! Here's an update I can give uh, while trying to get back to that part of the trail. Um, I'm going to be going to Vegas here in about two and a half weeks. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to get a ton of footage while I'm out there. Um, seeing a couple of shows. Got a few restaurants in mind. And gonna, God, I'm winded. <laughs> it's pretty steep, this trail. Got a nice incline on it. Um, got a couple restaurants in mind, uh, a couple shows that we've already booked. Going back to, uh, I think it's the Bacchanal. Yeah, Bacchanal Buffet. Oh, wow, that would be a good one right there. That would really be perfect. A um, couple fallen trees. Bunch of moss on them. Got the birds chirping in the background. Yeah, see? Beautiful area, but uh, very popular. There's a jogger coming up here. It's like next to impossible to make a video back here. Hmm. Hey there. Hey. Well, keep moving. We're right next to the road anyways. Um, I don't think that would have worked out. I think this video is going to end up being a lot longer than I thought it would be. All right. Back to the spot here. And we're going to go the other direction. Looks like uh, water has flown down right here at some point. Kind of cool. I would have liked to have seen this area <clears throat> about like, uh, oh, right here too. Yeah, see, <laughs> beautiful area, ton of noise. I would have liked to have seen this area about 50 years ago. I bet it looks so cool back then. Sorry about that, guys. I just inhaled a bug. <coughs> Got it out, though. Okay. Now. It's been a while since I've been over here, but I think... Yeah, this trail's off a little bit further down that way. So we should be able to make it away from the road a little bit. And I think we'll be good. The video is probably a little shaky. Um, I'm not used to putting my camera on my actual tripod and trying to film with that while swatting a ton of mosquitoes away from me. So I keep having to switch hands and it's not the most ideal situation for filming, but that is fine. Oh yeah, I think this is gonna work out here. Yeah, gotta go a little further down, but I think 
I think we'll be able to put something together. You might hear cars in the background. Man, I wish there was something I can do about that, but. Oh man. It's beautiful back. I mean, listen to that. There's no cars right now. Listen to that. That's what I'm talking about. But it's not gonna last. I'm gonna have to get a little further away from the road. Okay. Another area. Looks like uh, water had flown right here at some point. Well, they built that road up there and it kind of blocked any kind of that, that type of thing from happening, so. 50 years ago, I would like to see this place completely or minimally touched by humans. I bet it looks so beautiful. <clears throat> oh my God, these bikes are bad. Okay. Um, so the shows I'm going to in Vegas, one of them is um, a comedy magic show that I actually got a really good deal on. Uh, I want to say it's Nathan Burton, and it's at uh, the Miracle Mile shops in uh, Planet Hollywood. And I got a really good deal on that. Two tickets after taxes, fees, and everything. It was, I want to say like 80 bucks, which is a crazy good deal. And the show gets really good reviews. And then the other show, I think it's called Bad Apple. And it's a new show at uh, the New York, New York, and it replaced Zumanity. Once the pandemic hit, Zumanity was closed. So, Bad Apple is what replaced it. We got tickets for that. That was a lot more expensive. Um, I, I'm guessing here, but maybe 175, 180 bucks total, give or take. Um, those are the only two shows we're really going to. We normally do two or three. And we're going to do two this time around. I'm going to be doing a little bit of gambling, but I'm not going to go crazy with that. Um, let's see. What else are we doing? Fremont Street, obviously. There is an awesome barbecue place. Gets a lot of good reviews on YouTube. And on Google, Google reviews and all that. Can't remember the name of the place. <laughs> oh, uh, actually, it's a uh, Roland Smoke Barbecue. And we're gonna be doing that. They have an all-you-can-eat option for 50 bucks, I want to say, per person. And you can. It's not like a line buffet where you go pick out what you want. You go from the menu, and you can order anything and as much of it as you want. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. I mean, Roland Smoke Barbecue, YouTube it, guys. It looks amazing. And da, 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 da. Actually, they have a place called Dirt Dog in Vegas that I'm going to be going back to. I've been to it before. But they're, uh, it's actually kind of wild. They, uh, wrap their hot dogs in bacon and deep fry them. It's crazy. But um, they have one combination for their one of their hot dogs called uh, a Snoop Dog. And I had the option to get it, obviously, the last time I went. And uh, I got a chili dog instead. Big fan of chili dogs, but the guy that was working there was like, you gotta try the Snoop Dog. And I was like, give me the chili dog. <laughs> So I am gonna try the Snoop Dogg this time around. What are we at now? Almost 20 minutes, okay. I'm not gonna go too much farther, I don't think. Oh, you got the sun poking through. Would that show up good? Not really. I had to take a look at my phone there. Area closed for Revegetation, okay. 
Um, and I'm also going to be picking up some souvenirs, t-shirts, stuff like that. I've been to Vegas quite a few times and we usually go every year and I always get t-shirts. I don't care if uh, it seems silly, but I like those shirts, man. I always get them on Fremont and they're so comfortable and they're cheap too. I want to say you're not going to spend any more than $8 for a t-shirt. It's a good deal. As far as gambling goes, I don't know if I said, I think I did. I'm not gonna do much of it. Um, oh great, we have a, a train in the background as well. It's nature sound video. I'm here, I'm gonna get it, but it's not gonna be great. But my gambling, I'm gonna get done in one night. We're gonna be there for three nights. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and get all of my gambling done in one night. I have horrible luck with that anyways. I have no business gambling. Okay. I'm gonna do my gambling on Fremont too. The last time uh, I was in Vegas, I won I don't know, about four, five hundred dollars, maybe even six, I think, I can't remember, at this uh, machine at Planet Hollywood, right outside of uh, Earl of Sandwich, while my wife was uh, getting some food. I wasn't even planning on gambling. Just wanted to kill some time while she was in there. And uh, I sat down, put about a hundred bucks in, did the max bet. And it just kind of took off from there within the span of about 10, 12, 15 minutes, something like that. I won uh, quite a bit of money. And my wife uh, on that trip won a decent amount too. And uh, I think it was the last night in Vegas. I had all my money in my wallet. And I was on the gambling floor uh, playing some slot machines and um, I forgot my wallet at one of the machines and somebody turned it into security and took about half my money. I do not have good luck with that kind of stuff, man. But, you know, there's a lot to do in Vegas. It's not just about the gambling. There's a ton of stuff to do there. Um... My curiosity is kind of getting the better of me right now. Because I'm curious where this leads. Who knows, maybe there's a really cool outlook point. I don't know. Not sure. I kind of wish I had my GoPro. Makes filming a lot easier. I was gonna hit up the treadmill when I got to uh, the gym, but I don't see the need now. Oh, he just hit up the weights. Full of bug bites and hitting up the weights. I think I'm going to have to pick a spot here pretty soon. I'm starting to get bug bites on my bug bites. Okay. God. What is this up here? It's like a really big hole. Oh, oh cool, they got a bridge. That is pretty cool. I don't think I've been back this far. I'll stand back and get a picture of that. Or put it in the video, I mean. Good Lord, the bugs are net, oh my God, the bugs are so bad right here. So bad. Good God, they are horrible right here. Okay. God, do I, could I put it on the... God, the bugs are so bad, man. I can't even really get a look at the camera to see if it would be a good uh, opportunity for it. 
No, this ain't gonna work. Thought maybe if I put it on the bridge, out of the sh shot of the forest. No, for, for some whatever reason. Right there. There's no water over there. Not that I saw. I don't know why the bugs would be that bad right there, but they are horrible. Um, I think this uh, might be the longest vlog I've ever made in one straight shot. Take a peek at what I'm looking at. Oh, you know what? This wouldn't this wouldn't be that bad. Hey, uh, take a look at this. I just said hey to you like you're behind me or something. You got the sun poking through right there. You can hear the birds in the background. This is gonna be what it is. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and knock this video out and turn around and head back. It's uh, as good of a shot as any, and I can't hear the cars that much. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here and get this nature sound video out of the way. Thank you so much for watching. Please take a second, like, comment, subscribe, uh, check out my other content, and have a good day.